Well, we need to speak clearly. What is happening now in Venezuela is a coup, a coup organized by Trump, Bolsonaro and Almagro in order to remove the democratically elected president of the country, Nicolás Maduro. It cannot be described in any other way. On the 23rd of January, the president of the National Assembly, Juan Guaidó, uh, appointed himself as the president of the country and he was immediately recognized by uh, Trump and, uh, and the United States uh, administration. But in fact, this is not the real sequence of uh, events, as is being revealed today in an article in uh, Reuters. What happened was precisely the opposite. Uh, in the days leading up to this uh, coup, i.e. before Guaido appointed himself as uh, president, there were frantic calls, this is what the Reuters article says, frantic calls uh, by people like Mike Pompeo, Mike Pence, uh, Senator Mar Marco Rubio and uh, the, the Organization of American States General Secretary Almagro to the leaders of different Latin American countries to announce that this was going to happen and that they needed their, their immediate support. The, uh, and, and so this is what happened. Uh, the United States instructed Guaido to appoint himself as president and of, of course they immediately recognized him. Now this has no legal basis or legal or constitutional basis whatsoever. The first point to be made is that the National Assembly is in contempt of court. In 2015 there were elections to the National Assembly in December. Uh, the opposition won <clears throat> and then in January when uh, the National Assembly was con constituted the Electoral Council warned them that three members of parliament from Amazonas were not legitimate. There had been instances of electoral fraud in their election and their election had to be repeated. The National Assembly chose to ignore this instruction. <clears throat> Uh, they took an oath from these three MPs from Amazonas and therefore from that point they, on they are in contempt of court. All their rulings are null and uh, void. At any point in the last two years they will have chosen to uh, become legitimate again just by uh, repeating the election in uh, Amazonas and removing these three uh, un unlawful MPs from the Amazonas uh, region. Uh, this is the first point. Second, uh, Juan Guaido appointed himself as uh, president in the middle of a street rally, not, not even in the National Assembly, which uh, at least is, is a body that has uh, s some legitimacy, even though it's now in contempt of court. Uh, and finally, he used Article 233 of the Constitution, of the Venezuelan Constitution, to justify the coup. But uh, this article in fact says that if there is a permanent absence of the president, which is clearly not the case now, President Maduro is uh, alive and well and he's in the presidential palace in Miraflores, uh, if there is a permanent absence of the president, the vice president should take over uh, and not the president of the National Assembly. So there's no legal basis whatsoever, but this is not what is important. This is a coup and uh, legal justification is not the most important uh, thing in a, in a coup. It's the fact that he has powerful backers that have put him up to this uh, job, starting by the Trump administration in the United uh, States. The United States have uh, conducted a 20-year-long campaign to intervene in uh, Venezuela. They want to get their hands in Venezuela's oil. Venezuela has the largest oil reserves anywhere in the world, even larger than uh, those of Saudi Arabia, and therefore is a key country. A country in which for the last 20 years there has been a revolutionary process taking place. Uh, even though now it's in many difficulties, but uh, this is another reason why the United States want to remove this government, which is not compliant with the direct instructions of the United States. This is imperialism, pure and uh, simple. Uh, the justification for this uh, coup is, uh, is completely uh, farcical. The elections last year, uh, presidential elections in uh, May last year, which Maduro won, were convened by the same body, the National Electoral Council, which had convened and organized the elections in December 2015, which the opposition won for the National Assembly. At that time there was no protest about this body because they, they recognized the result of the election. Uh, in fact, it is the opposition which forced the, the, these elections, these presidential elections, which were early presidential elections, as part 
of talks between the government and the opposition in the Dominican Republic, which led to these early presidential elections. At the time of the elections, then, a section of the opposition decided to boycott, and, but another section decided to participate under the candidate Henry Falcon, who was one of the leaders of the opposition at the time, and he was the governor of uh, Lara. Now, there are people like Jeremy Hunt, the Foreign Affairs Minister for, for Britain, who says that uh, there was uh, ballot stuffing <coughs> at the time of the presidential election. This is completely ridiculous uh, allegation because in Venezuela there are no, no uh, ballots. Uh, in fact, they have uh, electronic voting and so they, therefore there can't be no uh, ballot uh, uh, stuffing. Uh, and he also says that the opposition was banned from participating, which is also false because uh, Henry Falcon, as I said, opposition candidate, did participate in those uh, uh, elections. What is going to happen next? A country cannot have two presidents. And, and right now we have one which has appointed himself as uh, interim or in charge president, and then another one which was elected by the Venezuelan people uh, a few months uh, ago, and we, who took over on the 10th of January this uh, year. <coughs> What's going to happen next is that the United States are going to continue and escalate its provocations in order to make sure that Maduro is uh, removed. Both uh, Guaido and uh, the US administration, uh, in, in the name of uh, Mike Pompeo, Mike Pence and others, have called on the army to intervene in politics and remove Maduro from the presidency and recognize uh, Guaido as the legitimate president. This is a military coup, what they are advocating. They are advocating regime change. And they will not stop, they will use all means at their disposal to achieve uh, this. They, have, they are already talking about further strangulating, uh, further strangling the Venezuelan uh, economy, of cutting off uh, supply of money from oil revenues to the government and giving this money to this so-called self-appointed uh, president, Guaido. Uh, and uh, Trump, President Trump, speaking at uh, the Davos uh, summit, he said that all options are on the table in, in relation to removing uh, Maduro. Th that is, uh, they're talking about uh, the possibility even of a military intervention. A military intervention which will be carried out under the guise of a humanitarian aid. Guaido has asked the United States to provide uh, humanitarian aid. The United States, uh, through uh, Mike uh, Pompeo, has said that they will send $20 million humanitarian aid. And the minute they try to deliver this aid, this is a military invasion of Venezuela. They want to provoke an armed uh, uh, conflict quite, uh, quite clearly, which will be a very serious uh, uh, matter. Now, what position do we need to take about this? The position is quite clear. Whatever you think of the Maduro uh, government, this is a, a blatant case of imperialist intervention in the sovereign affairs of the, Ven of, of Venezuelan, of the Venezuelan state. And, and this should be opposed, not, not only by all Marxists and revolutionaries, anti-imperialists, but also by any consistent Democrat. You cannot have a situation where the Venezuelan people vote for, for the president, and then the United States decide the president is someone else. This, is, this is, uh, uh, violates any basic principles of democracy. Uh, and, and never mind the fact that we oppose this because it's an imperialist coup. As I said, this does not depend on what you think of the Maduro government. The international Marxist tendency has been very critical of the policies of the Maduro government. We did not support him at the time of the presidential election in May last year. And the reason for this is not because he is dictatorial or, or he is responsible for the economic crisis, but on the contrary, because we think that his policies help undermine the Bolivarian uh, revolution. His policies are, are ones of making appeals to the ruling class, of compromising with the ruling class, making deals with foreign uh, powers uh, in exchange for oil concessions, uh, of undermining the conditions of uh, working people. Uh, his policies are not revolutionary. Uh, and therefore we do not support him. But uh, this is not the matter that is at hand now. What we're seeing now is an imperialist coup, which we oppose fundamentally, strongly, and by all means at our disposal. And this means uh, must be, we think, that the best way to fight an imperialist uh, coup 
is by revolutionary means. First of all, we think that the Venezuelan uh, government should uh, expropriate the properties of all those involved in financing and organizing the, the coup. The capitalists, landowners and bankers who are sabotaging the economy, who are attacking the democratic will of the people and who are collaborating with the foreign power to undermine the democratically elected uh, government. This is unacceptable. The other thing that needs to be done in Venezuela is uh, to rely on the mobilization of workers and peasants and the revolutionary people, uh, which is the only safe and secure support for the, the Bolivarian uh, uh, revolution. And in order to do this, the workers and peasants in Venezuela must see that uh, the government is acting in their interest and in the interest of solving their immediate problems, problems of scarcity, of high food prices, of low wages, of uh, attacks against the occupied uh, lands in, in the countryside and, and so on. It has to carry and conduct a revolutionary policy. And finally, uh, the, the, the coup must be uh, opposed at an international level. The workers' uh, organizations, the labor movement, the trade unions, anti-imperialist campaigners and solidarity campaigners, we must raise an international campaign of denunciation, attacking the position of uh, US imperialism and also of our own governments in the different countries who are collaborating in one degree or another with this imperialist coup in uh, Venezuela. A defeat in Venezuela, a victory for imperialism in Venezuela will encourage and embolden the right-wing reactionary forces throughout the continent and internationally. It will be a defeat for the international movement of the working class as a whole. And this is why we cannot stand for this. Furthermore, a defeat in Venezuela, the victory of this right-wing uh, coup, will mean the following things. The privatization of the oil uh, industry. This has already been said specifically by Guaidó and by the transition plan that the National Assembly has uh, proposed. Uh, and will, be, will mean the handing over of the Venezuelan oil industry to big uh, US-based uh, multinationals. It will also mean uh, the privatization of all nationalized uh, companies in Venezuela, massive layoffs of public sector uh, workers in the name of rationalization of the, private, uh, of the public sector, the, the return of all the land that was expropriated under President Chavez to the former landowners and the expulsion of the peasants who are now cultivating this land from there. But furthermore, from a democratic point of view, it will mean uh, an all-out attack on all the workers, peasants and Bolivarian organizations. People will be uh, arrested, people will be killed and these organizations will be destroyed and driven uh, underground. Therefore, what is at stake in Venezuela is not only the future of the Maduro government, is uh, the future of uh, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of working class, peasant and activists and activists in the poor uh, communities. And our duty to them is to raise our voice, to say clearly, hands off Venezuela and to organize a movement uh, in the international labor movement public opinion that is capable of uh, putting enough pressure on our governments and organizing enough solidarity so as to stop or contribute, help to stop this uh, ongoing coup attempt uh, led by Trump, Bolsonaro and Almagro.